So good morning, everyone. Let's continue our discussion. Today we are going to talk about writing a program, a simple program to add two numbers. Let's understand how exactly it works. Okay. So what we'll do is first I'll write it on the board so that you understand the complete syntax. And please be very, very careful while uh, you know looking into the code because it's very important for you to understand how do you write any kind of uh, you know like uh, code in Java. Over the period of time, as you become more mature in Java. I'll give you a guarantee that you will be able to write thousands of lines of code without any problem. That's the confidence I want to give it to you. Okay. So let's look into this. So what is the objective of uh, today's program? The objective of today's program is add two numbers, right? Now, if you ask me the class, I would say, I would write it like this. Public class sum of two numbers, right? So I'll say sum of two numbers, right? This is what I will use the naming convention, right? And then a uh, curly braces open here. Now I'll write a uh, main method, public static void main string arcs, right? And then I'll open a curly braces here. The objective is to add two numbers. So for that, I need two numbers, right? So remember to store number in Java, you have a data type called int int. Okay. That's how you basically store the numbers. We'll talk about the variables in the coming days. Today, it's just a simple program. So I'll say int number one is equal to 10. I'll hard code 10 now. Okay. And I need another number. I would say int number two is equal to 20. I've hard coded these two numbers 10 and 20. Now I have to add this number to st and store it in some variable, right? So I, I, I'll say int sum is equal to num1 plus num2. Okay. So I'm what I'm doing is I'm actually calculating 10 and 20 here. So what I'm doing actually here is I'm adding the value of num1 and num2 and I'm storing it in a third variable sum. So these three lines will actually add two numbers and store it on a sum variable. Okay. Now, once this is done, you would like to print it. Is not it? So how do you print it? You'll say system dot out dot print ln, right? And you will say like this: the sum is equal to. I wrote this as a string in the double quote. See this, and I'll say plus the value of it as you am okay? done. And this would be your end of main method. And this would be your end of class. Okay. Now in this whole example, you need to understand what are all capital letters. Okay. See here public all small class, all small sum of two numbers S capital O capital T capital N capital convention. Okay. Now public static void main everything small string S capital uh, arcs all small int number all small int num to all small int sum all small okay so this is also small s don't get confused this is also small s right so all small here and system s capital and everything else is small and you need to close your parenthesis here okay done so this is a very small program which can actually print the sum of two numbers very very small example we'll try to do this practically and we'll try to understand how can you write this program and execute this successfully on your machine. Okay. I would like to first show you how to install Java on Mac and then we'll try to execute this program. It's pretty simple. So the topic now is Java installation on Mac first. Okay. So download the DMG file from Oracle website. So just go to Oracle website the way we went yesterday. So you go to this Oracle website from where you downloaded your, uh, Java for Windows and you can see Java 18 and 17 available now Java 18 and just go to Mac OS right click on it and then you'll find couple of files here you should go and install x64 DMG if you are using Intel based uh, system okay and you should use ARM64 if you're using M1 okay M1 is basically ARM based and your Intel is basically x64 based okay now since I'm using Intel based uh, CPU uh, machine, I'll go ahead with this and this will get me 
that particular DMG file. Okay, so I'll not download this because I've already downloaded. I'll just cancel it out. But after downloading, you get a file like this, right? Now just double click on it, and you get a JDK 18.0.2.pkj. Double click on it, okay? And this will give you the installation wizard. Say continue, and say install, and give your password, and this is done. That is all that you need to install this Java in your Mac. Okay. Now, once this is done, let us see if the installation is successful or not. How do you do that? So just open your terminal. How do you open that? Like command and space. Okay. This will give you the spotlight search. You can just say CMD, sorry, terminal. Terminal. Okay. You'll say terminal. Command plus 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 plus. Okay. Keep pressing plus to magnify your screen, right? And here you just try to say Java hyphen version. Okay, now if you see, we have successfully installed Java 18.0.2. Okay, that's how you basically install Java on your Mac. Pretty, pretty simple, is not it? Now, once this is done, what we would like to do is we would like to write the same program to add two numbers, right, in, 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 in Mac now, okay? But the process would remain same in the, in the, uh, Windows as well, because we have already seen how to write a hello world program in Windows in our uh, in yesterday's class, right? So what I'll do is I'll create a folder first, okay? I'll say MKDIR Java program. I'll create a folder first because I want to have everything inside that folder, okay? So I created a folder called Java program and I'll change it to Java program. Then well, let's see what is the present working directory. I have created a folder called Java program under slash user suraj home folder there is a folder called java program okay now we want to write a code right so if you remember in windows we were opening a notepad right similarly you can open a file here using vim right vim and what's the class name sum of two numbers right so i'll say vim sum sum o of two numbers right dot java that's how you will open a file okay you are saying VIM means open a file with the name sum of two numbers dot Java. Okay, hit enter. It gives you a, a, a area to write the code now. Okay, now you want to write something here, right? So press I first to take it to the insert mode. Now, if you see here, you, you just check this out. It's just written sum of two number dot Java is a new file. Okay, now just when you press I, it takes you to the insert mode. Press I and see here it has gone to insert mode right in here now you start typing your code okay so let's try it out so i'll say public class sum of two numbers like this right so public class sum of two numbers remember you have written a public uh, keyword you have used a public keyword so your class name and file name must match so you can just cross check this with with this name right here if you see there's a name s capital o capital t capital n capital and at the end you have s numbers right done now once this is done now inside that write your main method right so public static void main string args and as i said args is just a name you can keep anything but it is a convention do not change it right even the best of the best software that you'll see in the industry will have args in the uh, parameter as the, as the main method parameter itself so don't change it okay so it's it's okay let let it be the same now the next thing what you will do is you you'll define two variables int number one int number two right so i'll say int number one is equal to let's say 10 give a semicolon int number two is equal to 20 give a semicolon and then you say system dot out dot print and system dot out dot print and and you'll say the sum is equal to plus the you 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 can have one more variable int sum uh, int sum is equal to num1 plus num2 okay you can write like this number one number two and the sum variable which will add two numbers and store it there right so the sum is equal to now you can say system dot out dot print ln the sum is equal to plus sum and you close this done you are literally done okay done now 
when you write this uh, code in notepad or or vim i will always suggest you to take care of you know the indentation which means try to give some spaces here try to give some spaces here okay so like this try to give some spaces here like this i've given too many spaces but what i'm trying to tell you is don't write everything in the single line okay like this try to intend uh, intend your program because it makes your program much more readable okay it's not mandatory but i'll always suggest you to follow this format right so give some spaces whenever there is a next step for example if you see public class sum of two numbers this is the main body inside which you have one method right and what i did is i gave little gap again inside this main method i've written couple of statement but again i have given couple of gaps so, so this will make your code much more readable okay but when we start doing uh, the same thing on intellij or uh, eclipse you don't have to worry about indentation it's like just a click away you just say control shift f and it's all literally taken care of okay all right so once this is done press escape to come out of this insert see here right now you are in insert so escape colon wq enter save the file is saved okay now i have done this on mac how do you do that on windows same thing you open a notepad write these lines save as sum of two numbers give that double quote right sum of two numbers dot java give that double quote and you have literally saved the program the next thing that you would do is compile the code now let's try to compile the program now so how do you compile the code java c space sum of two numbers dot java that's how you compile the program right java c to compile okay so hit enter make sure that you don't make spelling mistakes right done so you have compiled the code now the next thing would be you want to execute the program so you will say java space sum of okay now let me tell you you literally don't have to type everything you just write few words sum of whatever and give a tab give a tab okay like the operating system will automatically recognize the name the, the reason is because you are in the current working directory so you, you you literally do not have to write everything at, at any time okay so just say delete okay and then say enter and if you see i got the output like the sum is equal to 30 right so very simple program to print the sum of two numbers but here the main focus was on how do you install that in uh, mac and get the things done okay so if you are not using mac no worries you know how to write this program go ahead and write the program okay now i want to give you one more uh, thing here suppose you are working in your company's laptop and company is not allowing you to install any software for example and you are running out of time you just would like to practice something so what else you can do is there are lot of online java compiler available okay and you can just give it a try for example just say online java compiler okay and you get a lot of online java compiler let me open this now see here it's a online java compiler which which has the code okay and you just have to put your code here like you can say and if you're done with this just say you got the output here total is equal to 30 okay